Why are you taking on this enormous challenge? Well, the nation is calling me. It's time for me uh, that um, I should go and help my people. And my people needs me. And my family needs me on the ground. And uh, I'm ready for the, you know, the voice of my people. You've often uh, been uh, been behind the scenes uh, you know, at, at a diplomatic level. You've been uh, campaigning to change the situation in Somalia. Uh, why are you deciding to take uh, the spotlight now? Uh, why are you coming from out of the shadows? Well, as you say, that I've been numbers of years behind the curtains and uh, and supporting the system. And right now, uh, I have decided it because I see that basically after 30 years, they, there's no way out. And uh, and the leaders are always those people that who's failing us as a Somalis. And uh, and and the country deserves, and the people, my people deserve that basically that they should be supported with the right players on the international market. And what are you proposing exactly to change the situation? Well. My proposal is very simple. My manifesto is within my book, My Life for Somalia. And in, uh, I am uh, standing up personally against the extremist, aggressivity, violence, corruption, and, in, and bring basically uh, the voice of my people who's been voicelessly for over this, you know, 30 years plus. And in, uh, now I'm saying that enough is enough. And in, uh, I've just come up with the, the solution for for everybody and, uh, and to reduce the uh, the crime of you know extremists mm -hmm. to reduce uh, you know crime of uh, corruption you know to fight against and the, the 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 my party that I have created my political party uh, stands for it one man one one man one vote mm -hmm. system and, and I have just launched it and uh, since today yeah. uh, a program called you know, and Somalia back for 1,460 days time, you know, which will give it to us uh, one man, one vote. Okay. And, and it's the solution out and fight against the corruption and, 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 uh, and Al-Shabaab. The solution you've said will tackle uh, the influence of tribalism uh, in the political system. Um, how will it weaken tribalism in, in Somali politics? Well, it will weaken them because the way the system works in Somalia is the three steps. The, the, the tribal leaders elect the member of the parliament, and a member of the parliament elect the presidential. So what's happening here is uh, the member of the parliament has to buy the seats from the tribal leaders because it's not for free. It could vary from 20 to 50,000. 2016, we even heard about a uh, seat that was being bought up to one million dollars. So that is corruption. And in, uh, and in, and that deputy or member of the MP, when he buys, is a, is a, is a commercial business enterprise here. When he buys votes from his tribal leader, then he has to collect his money back somehow, and then he votes for the president. And the president then will have to buy his vote off from the, you know, the MP for him to become a president. And Al-Shabaab has released a press release which this information is available right now into the market. And, uh, and we all know that where this internationally and in the Somalis ourselves, uh, that they have summoned the uh, tribal leaders last year and give them strict, strict instruction saying that next deputy we will bring the deputy to you guys. So that means is a tribal leader now is not clean no more. So he's gonna send it the next deputy that who has been imposed himself because he has to comply because he's in threat himself. He doesn't have security to protect himself. So he becomes basically automatically under their control. And electing the deputy, the deputy will be somebody who's been choosed by Al Shabaab. And Al Shabaab then runs the whole parliament and the parliament elects the next future president. My proposal is just basically what I call it stop for 1,460 days to leave the parliament as it is and extend them for another two years the parliament 
And that two years of the parliament, then Al-Shabaab can no, no longer filtrate them because they've been operating for the last four years, the parliament. Why should the Somali people choose you? Well, and uh, I'm not saying that they have to choose me. And uh, if you understood my message, and uh, I personally uh, standing up for the position because my nation needs me.